Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, well, so this is our second to last lesson. Um, we got one more next week, and then whoever can make it, hopefully somebody can. <laughs> um, I've heard a little tiny bit of response, but um, the recital would be the following week. Um, since there's so many different teachers, we're like kind of splitting it up into, for the most part, different days for the different teachers. I'm leaning towards the Monday the 18th. Um, my first class would be at 5, this would be 6, and then my other class would be at 7. Um, so, that is kind of what I'm leaning towards doing, and uh, I know that uh, Brandon and Mark will send out an email saying exactly for sure, <clears throat> but that's kind of what it's looking like for now. You'll be knowing real soon. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get this lesson out last night. I've it's like basically last day of school stuff and kind of got sidetracked and and just didn't have time to get it out in time. But anyway, um, maybe I can make it up to you by introducing a new song. <laughs> um, I guess you all have plenty to work on at this point. All my videos I made public, so there's a mostly a bunch of guitar on there, but mandolin stuff too. Um, anybody that wanted to subscribe to my channel or just find my channel, all the videos are there, um, and then I put a date by the music lessons, so, um, you know, you can always go over stuff again, but, um, I was gonna do one last song, it looks backwards, <laughs> but it's, uh, Turn Your Radio On, um, I learned this, well, it was actually, I knew about it as an old, like, church gospel song, but, um, John Hartford, I did it and uh it's pretty good so um maybe i can uh include that in the email or something to check out what that sounds like but um this is my version i kind of tabbed out with the chords and um the melody um you will note on the sheet that there's these little bridges and uh, that was just kind of my attempt at making the string of notes that are played faster. Um, so you'll know what that means. And then everything else is pretty much the same. There's pauses. There's the times, chords. And uh, there's a chords. There's a chorus part and uh, a, um, a verse part. The, t the, t the top two sets of notes are the verse and the second two are would be the chorus so but the chords the good news is the chords are exactly the same for both parts um the melody is just a little bit different on the chorus part and basically what it's doing is just playing just like how the the vocal part is saying so that's um kind of what it's based on so anyway um, and I didn't put the chords on the second part, take note of that, just understand they're exactly the same as the top. Um, so I'll go over the chords first, and um, we'll see what we come up with here. So um, it's just the standard, it's got a G chord, a C, and a D. So the chords are pretty easy for it. Um, so it shouldn't give you too much trouble. Um, so I'm just going to do it. So one, two, three, four. G times four. C times two. G times six. essentially 
E or E minor, you could play either way on the mandolin and get away with doing it like that. And uh, just in case you've got any confusion about that, it's first finger, third strings, second fret, um, and then I do my second finger on the fourth strings, fourth fret. Like that. You can actually do an E. anyway let's just keep it at that um so i just went through it one time um you know like i said the second part's going to be exactly the same thing but i'll play through the melody so you can see how it goes and that way um you can see that hopefully here how the, the chords would be the same so it starts on the third string and the first string of notes is fast so it goes Back and forth picking is going to be important for for now on <laughs> because uh, you know sometimes I'll play down twice like see there's open open two open and then do those two fives down you know you don't have to but I, I find myself doing it that way so anyway here goes one two three go. Okay, this is the chorus part. Same chords, melody's a little different. One, two, three. Pause. 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 Pause to the next line. So it's a pretty easy, straightforward tune. Um, um, I guess, you know, once you got the sheet, you should hopefully not have much trouble with that. Um, I believe this will be the final song for sure that I introduce. Um, I'll just kind of check back in next week. Um, if anybody's got any questions, um, you know, before next week, let me know because, uh, I could address them in the video, um, and, uh, you know, I'll just maybe kind of do a review of all the songs we've done, and, um, you know, for the recital, hopefully all you can make it, or as many of you as can as possible, um, there's going to be a Zoom meeting set up for it, um, and, uh, normally with recitals, we would pick a couple songs and practice those songs just exclusively up until the recital but since we're not having a recital there's really no reason that we had to focus on certain songs so we just um you can pretty much play whatever you want um pick whatever one that you feel like you've done the best and made the most progress with and show it off or you know maybe you've even uh tried to figure out or since you know now that you understand how to read tab and and chord charts and stuff and gotten interested did some research on your own maybe you've gone out there and learned some songs on your own which would be great too i'd be glad to, glad to hear that um just see that you've made any kind of progress whatever you've done would be great but um yeah so i'm gonna when i send this out i'll send a picture of the tabs and i'll find that john hartford video and put with it so you can kind of hear what that sounds like too but uh anyways i hope y'all are doing well and have a good week and like i said sorry i didn't get it out last night but hopefully 
y'all, you know, or it looks like from what I have seen that some people didn't get to look at it till later anyway, so hopefully it's not any kind of problem. But uh, I'll make sure and get your last lesson next week, and we will uh, hope to see you at the recital. Take care. Bye.